When we start moving into this world of using a diet to reduce inflammation, that's not inherently the issue. Those are all practical pieces. So we want to be really practical, right? That's like wearing a mask in COVID. That's practical. Going on an anti-inflammatory diet, if you have an inflammatory disease, that's practical. But what's happening is, is that we're moving from using all of these resources that we have to being from practical into safety. And that's the biggest thing that I hope everybody gets out of this is, is that when we get curious, we look at what we decided, we look at the relationship that we have, those are steps that we can start to discern. Am I searching for how to be safe? in a diet because I'm scared of dying and I'm scared of what might happen or am I being practical and I'm using my loving as the measure of safety. And that when we look at what we want the end stage to be there, I think that that's um, something that is really understandable and that that oftentimes happens in it, you know, inadvertently is that something scary happens to us. We go and we look at how the quickest way we can get safe again. So we start going outside of ourselves to fix it. And then we think, oh, now I'm safe. And loving ourselves doing hard things or the loving diet is really a perspective of knowing that we have the tools built inside of us because we were born on this planet to love ourselves struggling or to love ourselves or just simply create space to be with the parts of ourselves that are struggling or suffering or scared is enough and that it, that we don't need to look outside of ourselves for the safety because we have it right inside of us that creating room is enough we're kind of rushed to an end place where we can maybe not love our disease but we can say oh that i can see how that's helped me i can see how that's awakened me um, and and oftentimes it's as simple as oh, this illness has awakened me to the parts inside of myself that were hurting. And I know now how to go be with the parts of myself that hurt. From my perspective, what loving ourselves is has been distilled down to being happy all the time, to like, you know, just this blind love. I don't see it like that. You know, and so in some ways, I think we have to redefine what loving ourself means. For me, loving myself means is that there isn't any place I can't go be with myself. And I'm willing to not judge those places that I find when I find them. That's loving. Then I'm going to accept all the places, no matter how broken they seem, no matter how angry they seem. I'm going to go be with those places. To me, that's what being loving is.